Hi and welcome to uh, the workshop here at RC Legends. Just another uh, video to introduce a new product of ours. Um, it's the Vortex Gimbal. Uh, this is the XD2 edition. Um, really well made gimbal. Um, uses the DYS motors. Um, it's pretty much designed for your Sony Next, um, your Nikon One which you've got on here. Um, that sort of size camera. Uh, they come fully assembled, fully set up, uh, ready to go. Obviously there will be variations in what camera you're going to be using. Um, so you may have to do uh, your own balancing depending on the camera that you're using. Um, each one will be set up uh, to work with the Nikon One straight away. Um, but as I said, obviously if you're going to use the Sony Next or anything like that, um, some of the Panasonics, the Canons, um, you will need to do your own, your own balancing on the gimbal. Um, it's really easy to balance. Um, we've got uh, adjustable thumb screws um, in all the uh, the axes, so you can get the camera really nicely balanced, so it, it stays exactly where you put it on each of the axes. Um, this is a two-axis gimbal. Uh, we are going to release a three-axis one. Um, they are all using the Alex Moss um, board uh, powered by Basecam. As, as I'm sure you know, if you've uh, been doing any sort of research into brushless gimbals, that is the board to be using at the moment. Um, right, so I'll just get it powered up. Oops. But I'm just using a 3S battery to power it for this demo. Um, you can use up to 4S, but we are recommending 3S just because the settings we've um, put into the board are for uh, 3S. Uh, so around 12 volts. So if we give it a few seconds just to initialise, um, then you'll see it keeps the camera nice and level when the aircraft's moving, and again with the tilt. You're getting some really nice footage from it, um, whether you're using it for hobby level or even professional level. Um, it's still really good footage, um, not, not too much stabilisation um, needed uh, in editing, um, if any at all really. So we've got this set up uh, on the receiver just to show you that um, you can change the angle um, that the camera's uh, pointing at. Obviously ideally you know, if you're using a DX8 you'd have that on the twist style uh, channel, um, but wherever you move it to it will obviously hold that position uh, throughout the flight. So we'll get out there, we'll get some uh, test footage done for you guys and you can um, at least then see what you can expect straight out of the box from this uh, gimbal. Thanks for watching another video from the workshop here at RC Legends.